Wait, 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 wait. I am a huge Apple fan. So how exactly did we get here? Nostalgia is a powerful thing. I grew up with both Mac and Windows, but I have very fond memories of playing Oregon Trail on my school's Apple II, and for some reason I always found myself enraptured by Apple computers more than any others through some sort of mysterious magnetism that I still can't explain. Classic Apple laptops are still today beautifully designed machines with incredible build quality, and using Mac OS 9 today is more than just a walk down memory lane. I think that the hardware and software design on these machines is just timeless. Enter the latest MacBook Pro with Touch Bar that I've been using for about a year. And the question is, nearly 20 years after the classic iBook and PowerBook that I still have and still love, has Apple taken everything they've learned and finally realized the perfection of their laptop design dream? You know, I hate to say this, but no, I don't think they have. Look, I used to be a huge fan of Apple. I even looked up to Steve Jobs as kind of a personal hero despite his flaws. But after years of proselytizing for them, standing in line year after year, recommending them to friends and family, I just kind of feel like this is a slap in the face. I don't know, I just sort of feel betrayed. I'm just kind of lost. Well, it looks like I'm gonna be a while on the floor, lamenting those Apple days of yore. Oh, that kind of rhymes. So let's find out what's made me feel so poor? Okay, I'll, I'll see myself out. How many of you have ever had your notebook go flying off its work surface when somebody caught your power adapter cord in their foot. Well, this is gonna end that. Steve Jobs unveiled the MagSafe at Macworld in 2006 and rightfully made a pretty big deal about it. This was Apple at its best, quietly redefining experiences, making the best product possible. This magical magnetic port served admirably for 10 years until now, with Apple deciding to replace it with a USB-C port? While I get the move towards a standardized port, gone is the safety of being able to trip over the power cord and not send your laptop crashing to the ground. Gone is the instant visual feedback of seeing the light come on the MagSafe cord so you know it's charging. That's been replaced by a barely audible tone that seems to take ages to trigger. And gone is the fun and almost magical act of getting the cord sorta near the port and having it just connect. Now it's a fiddly affair that you'll perform thousands of times, and yes, this is what the finish around my USB-C ports looks like after less than a year. Oy vey. Ow. 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 You know what, f this. That's better. While the thin keycaps do look nice the way they nearly blend into the top of the case, in actual use, I would equate this keyboard experience more to repeatedly bashing my fingers on concrete. It physically hurts to type on this laptop for more than five or 10 minutes at a time. There's virtually no key travel, so even if you try to have a light touch, you'll end up bottoming out the keys on the hard aluminum chassis. And because of that new touch bar, which we'll get to in a minute, there's no physical escape key. So if you're a professional who might rely on that tactile feedback from that key in particular, you're gonna be disappointed. The bottom line is, as someone who appreciates a refined typing experience and as someone who actually types for a living, I am overwhelmingly disappointed in what Apple has done here. Yes, got the Pro, that's gonna come in handy. 
Hello everyone, thank you for coming. Let me just plug in via HDMI to share my presentation and we'll get started. Oh God. Oh, come on, what the hell? Okay. Okay, yep, that's right, okay. Yep, that's good. Hey, on the consumer line, go crazy with the ports. Hell, get rid of all the ports and go wireless for all I care. But on the pro line, this, this is a dongle nightmare and it must stop. I know, I know, USB-C is the future, and it's a fine port with plenty of bandwidth, for now. And I love the idea of everything being standardized, but if Apple really wanted to cater to professionals in the real world, they could have struck a balance between the present and the future, and made all of our lives so much easier. At least they left the headphone jack? Break it down to you and me uptown. And finally, the crowning achievement, the creme de la creme of this latest MacBook, the defining feature that sets it apart from all MacBooks that have come before and from any other laptop on the market, the touch bar. You see, they call it a touch bar because you touch it. Eh? Eh? Get it? I'm not gonna mince words here. I don't like the touch bar. I'm a heavy multitasker and I found the constant changing of its tiny little screen as I zipped in and out of apps to be annoyingly distracting, like some sort of tiny rave party on my laptop. I also didn't find the experience to be all that efficient or ergonomic. It wasn't convenient to constantly move my hands from the mouse and keyboard in order to grope around for the right non-tactile button. For those times that it might be nice to touch the screen, I think I'd rather just touch the actual screen instead of having to feel around on a tiny piece of glass. For everything else, I still find keyboard shortcuts rule the day, especially because I don't normally look down at the keyboard when I'm typing. That's not something I wanna get in the habit of doing. Here's a pro tip if you think the touch bar is more marketing fluff than productivity booster. You can make it behave like a normal function row in the keyboard settings by changing the touch bar shows dropdown to expanded control strip. <laughs> this weird setting will stop the epileptic dance party, but sadly won't turn that escape key into a real button. <sighs> All right, so that was a bunch of pretty negative stuff and I don't like being a negative person, especially about a company that I've been such an advocate for for so long. You know, now that I've vented and gotten some of that off my chest, I actually do kind of feel better. So let's talk about some of the things I actually like about the new MacBook. Uh, what? The new space gray color is a welcome change to the pro line, and damn does it look good. This thing has the best trackpad on the market, period. It's super responsive, accurate, and now even bigger. It's impeccably designed, it's really just beautiful, and you can open it with one finger. Speaking of fingers, the fingerprint sensor is lightning quick and accurate and easily became my favorite way of unlocking the MacBook. And finally, macOS is still my favorite operating system thanks to its refined workflows and handy shortcuts. Despite a few redeeming qualities, I think you now know how we got here and it looks like we have some unfinished business. So, let's continue, shall we?